Hi, this is the presentation professor, and today we're going to take a look at Ning, a website and program where you can create your own social network directly online. This is the main Ning page, a uh, logo, your own designs, and so it's completely branded. Every social network under Ning is part of the entire Ning network, so that wh whether you create one social network or no social networks or multiple social networks, you get to the Ning welcome page once you log into Ning as a whole. Then you have logins for your specific networks, and as you can see on the Ning welcome page, you can access any of the networks that you've created or networks that you've joined. You also see some of the members in the networks that you already are, are part of. You can put up your own picture. There are a number of ways to navigate through your social network. We saw the main page with lots of different features on it, which we're going to customize in a second or show you how to customize in a second. But there's also a set of tabs at the very top. And the most important one of those tabs, I would think, is the Manage tab. When you click the Manage tab, you get into the Manage screen, which is shown here, where you can go into the guts of your network if you've created it, if you're an administrator, or if you're a moderator or a user who's been granted administrator privileges. And you can begin to set features and permissions within your network. One of the first things you're going to want to do in the manage area is to click network information where you can add uh, an introduction to your network, a description of your network, and also begin loading up some pictures that represent your network within Ning and externally, uh, and also your own member page. So network information is probably your first stop under the manage page. Within network information, You've got a couple of options to put up pictures that represent your network, represent you as the administrator, and become an icon directly um, underneath uh, a fav icon, as it's called, which represents you in the address bar of the browser, represents your network in the address bar of the browser. Probably the most significant picture that you put up is the picture that represents the network itself. And as you can see, that, that picture also will come up in the main network page where other people who have joined your network will see it visually and, 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 and log back onto it when they return. The way you configure your main page and the overall interface of your network is using the features page, which is found, again, you access that through the manage page. Once you get to the features page, all you need to do is drag and drop the features you want into the part of the layout uh, panel on, in the right-hand side. There's also a yellow area on the right-hand side or when you drag stuff in, it appears on every page. There's not a lot you can do with the very top area of the right panel because that's where Ning pays for itself with advertising. The only way you can impact that is if you buy their premium services, pay for your monthly, and then you can put up your own advertising and make some money with your Ning. You can configure your tabs, the areas at the top of your screen where, you, where we saw the Manage tab area, with another part of the manage area called the tab manager. All you need to do is activate some tabs in the left, name them, and give them a URL. And usually what happens also is as you add features, as we saw on the previous screen, uh, to the features area, they also become tabs. So what you probably want to do is remove some of those tabs so that you don't have a lot of clutter. Bear in mind that you can also link to other places. So you can link to a blog or another website using a tab at the top of the interface. Another major feature of the Manage area is the, is the Manage Appearance page where you can pick a theme. So you, and you can actually create your own banner, not, not necessarily use one of the banners that, that Ning gives you. Uh, all you have to do is create your own image in a certain uh, resolution, uh, screen dimensions of 900 by 120 or 150 or, is really good, and then you can use your own banner. And then you can configure your page, you can add uh, a logo to your page, you can change the background colors, or use one of the predetermined themes that Ning gives you in combination with either your own image or one of their images. Probably one of the most powerful features of any social network and one you can use within Ning is a discussion forum. But that keeps people coming back and generates a lot of interest. And of course, you can have topics that are important to the particular purpose of the Ning that, you're, that you've created. When you 
create a discussion forum, you can also make it part of a category, and you can set up category questions or profile questions for your users so that when they join the network, you can find out what they're most interested in. So here in our sample network, we've set up three different categories within our discussion forum to kind of organize the discussions according to certain things that we want to uh, not push but guide members into. And we gave you some examples from marketing in the previous slide. I'm sure you can come up with your own for whatever organization it is that you may want to create a social network for. You can also let, let your members organize themselves or select different areas of interest by joining different groups. And each group has a picture that represents it, and then you, they can start discussions directly from within groups or even send emails to all the people within groups. And here's a group which has a, a picture of it, and, and the group is represented by uh, my picture, and the group is called Great Ideas. And within that group, the members can join that group and stay in touch with other people within that group, and of course still have access to the rest of the network as well, but then really filter their main activities if they want to in terms of a specific group. So if you had a main business, you could have a marketing group, you could have a support group, you could have an accounting group, you could have different groups for different or, uh, teams in your organization, but also have the entire network available for the entire organization. Uh, one of the really cool things in a Ning network, as it is in Facebook and many other social networks, is the ability to add video and other visuals to your network. Uh, this could be training video, this could just be fun video, it could be uh, a message from a CEO in a company or a message from a pastor a, or a, a rabbi or someone else in a religious organization. And you can add video a number of different ways. You can upload a video, you can um, reference it from YouTube, and that video will, will be on its own video page, and it'll also, it can also be on the main page. So as members just come into the Ning network, they see whatever new video comes up, and they can watch it in a little panel or go to the main video page and watch the video. Uh, the Ning video player is one of the newer features where you can actually take it out of the, out of the Ning and watch it separately while you continue browsing the web as well. Members can have their own pages. Well, they do have their own pages, and they can do as much or as little with their own pages as they want to. They can add third-party applications on their pages and create slideshows on their pages and put news items on their pages and text boxes and stuff like that. So you, as the administrator, also have the uh, power to determine how much and how little members can do with their pages. Some things let members completely configure their pages and even make them look different from the main page with different themes and so on. Other more structured thing, uh, social networks restrict the activities of members on their member page. Sometimes they even refuse to allow members to put third-party third party applications on a member page. The real power of a Ning is to keep people coming back and interested and really enthusiastic about taking part in, in the forums and sending emails and putting comments on other people's posts. As you can see, if you probably, most of you people are probably on Facebook. So one of the things you really want to do as an administrator is make sure that any new member is welcomed and if you put up um, profile questions for them, that you address their answers in the profile question and also keep track of their birthdays. Especially more socially minded uh, Ning networks rather than business ones, but even in a business network, acknowledging someone's birthday and what their interests are is very important to keep them coming back. Um, many Nings use moderators in the forums and discussion areas because one person can't respond to everything. And if you let things lapse, people aren't going to come back. And remember to populate your Ning with lots of visuals. Uh, you've got to compete with other kinds of social networks. Again, mention, mentioning Facebook is important. So I want to thank you for attending this uh, online session about Ning. I do have a more comp uh, comprehensive guide to, to many of these features available on my website. 